All right, we're here with Senator Sue Resin. Senator, uh, just some general thoughts on the governor's uh, budget address today. I think Governor Rauner did a really good job of um, presenting a budget that reflects existing revenues coming in. I mean, it's a hard conversation to have, uh, something that, to be quite honest with you, we haven't seen in the past couple years. So it was uh, refreshing to see uh, a budget that was reflective of the existing revenue, but it also laid back or laid out many hard decisions that we need to make um, in the next couple months. But his budget also was reflective, though, of his priorities that he talks about. It uh, increases funding for early childhood development, increases funding for K through 12 education, while also pr providing a safety net for the developmentally disabled, and also helps to improve public safety as well. And going off on those things you listed, early child development and school funding and things like that, do you think that's going to help uh, moving forward with uh, the Democratic Party uh, moving some of the making some of these tough decisions that they might not like uh, when they first read them? Well, I think, uh, again, when the governor laid out his budget address and also his state of the state, he laid out, it was a menu of things, and there's something in it for everyone, but we also know that there's going to be some pain in the decisions that we make, and in the next couple months, we'll all be sitting at the table uh, negotiating and making sure, though, but the governor has made it clear that from this point forward, though, we have to live within our means, and our budgets have to reflect the revenue that's coming in. All right, Senator Resin, thank you so much. Thank you.